Facilitating human connection brings joy to our next speaker's life. She loves creating spaces of belonging where anyone can find acceptance, playfulness and growth through drums, stories, and shared experiences. Give it up for Zoe Say. So I almost made you all make some music together, but I didn't have time, so no need to panic. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about why it matters. A lot of people might be expecting me to talk about drum circles. I love drum circles and I love facilitating them, but I don't want to talk about them. I want to talk about a bigger question. Why I love creating spaces of belonging and connection, like drum circles. Spaces where all kinds of diverse people are quickly counted in. I'm going to talk about why that's important to me. But to talk about why that's important to me, I have to talk about a hard thing, where I have felt counted out. I remember as a teenager taking a driving lesson. We were merging onto Crow Child Trail and I was terrified as I nervously tried to position myself perfectly to blend into a tiny little hole in traffic, my driving instructor said something profound. He said, you know the other cars can see you. <laughs> You're not invisible. They'll make space for you. That was a huge revelation. I hadn't realized it. But they could see me. I was not invisible. But. I realized I felt invisible, and I didn't feel worthy of them making space for me. As someone whose work is essentially a community builder who loves people and stories and connection, who is lucky to have way too many hobbies and passions and much too vast of a social work network, this feeling of invisibility may seem incongruous, and it is. And yet, there is more to my story there is an invisible part of me that I don't often share about, and in fact, being up here right now makes me want to run and hide. This may be the most visible thing I've ever done, but I think a lot of people struggle with invisible challenges, and so I share this in hopes that it will help others. When I was seven months old, I was hospitalized for the croup, and while recovering in a croup tent, caught Haemophilus, B in Haemophilus influenza type B, which can cause severe and light life-threatening infections. I was doused with many drugs to fight off this potentially life-threatening infection. Thankfully, it went away and I lived. My quality of life, however, suffered. I was sick and weak for much of my childhood. When this photo was taken around 10, I was wild and precocious, climbing trees, convincing others to climb trees, and playing in the mud. Yet I had no stamina whatsoever and couldn't walk much farther than the end of the block. This is where it sometimes feel like, feels like I spend half my life disappearing from the world. In kindergarten, I had to have a two-hour nap every day after school. Sleepovers were nearly impossible, as were parties or late concerts as I got older. Now I can occasionally say yes if I'm willing to clear my schedule to spend the next day in bed. What I've come to realize is that I have a chronic illness, what I believe is chronic fatigue syndrome, or now called ME, and I've had it since probably being sick at seven months old. I, would, I was also diagnosed with chronic atypical migraines, which basically means I have headaches of very degree, various degrees of severity 100% of the time. One of the hardest parts is that physically I look fine, and I'm even fairly fit and active. But what you don't see is that I wake up every day already exhausted. I pretty much feel like shit most of the time, and I have to sleep a lot. Even things that bring me joy are likely to crack caused me to crash after. Not only is the illness invisible, the crashes are also invisible. I have lots of photos of me taking great adventures, which I loved, but after almost every one, I'm in bed exhausted or with a migraine, and either way, I just disappear. But um, this story is an important one because lots of people live this way. Um, I carry a lot of shame. This is the voice that is always in my head. It tells me I can't keep up. I couldn't keep up with my peers as a kid in sports or in school and still often feel that way, which makes me feel like I am worth 
less than them. But this makes me, this forces me to seek the joy. This is possibly the freest I've ever felt on a tiny beach in a village off the east coast of Argentina. After grinding slowly, slowly through high school, I went and lived and traveled in Argentina and around Patagonia and learned that I was capable of many more things than I thought I was. Building relationships, working hard, and people created the space that I needed. This experience of feeling less than or counted out of mainstream society taught me many important things. Judgment comes from ourselves. If we want to feel counted in, we must start with ourselves, counting ourselves in. The people who love us, love us for who we are. What I always have and I likely always will prioritize, which I have to prioritize a lot, my time, connection ex and experiences of empowering others. This is where I find my joy. I find as I come to judge myself less and less, I have more ability to judge less and care more about all those around me. I know what it is to struggle with a daily grind in a world that was not made for me. I cared deeply about lessening that for others by creating inclusive spaces for people to come as they are. I feel like if we can increase empathy and connections between people, build bridges and inclusive communities, and empower and, and uplift those around us to express themselves, perhaps we can start creating a world that is less judgmental, more understanding, and values a myriad of ways of being human. Which brings me back to drum circles, just one of the ways I love to create connecting spaces where all feel counted in. If we know one another deeply, we come to realize that every person has a unique rhythm and we need all the rhythms to create a community. Time is precious. Consider how you spend it. I highly recommend smacking a drum or playing outside. For me, I uh, am not sure how I feel yet about being a little more visible. Uh, I may have changed my mind after tonight. <laughs> But I do recommend making your own measuring stick for what you value and for counting yourself in. Thank you.